if you haven't heard of tiktok by now you must be living underneath a rock or you are a boomer tiktok has 800 million users of which 90 percent log on every single day now whether or not these people are creating tiktoks or just on there to go and watch we don't know but there are definitely a whole lot of videos on tiktok so for this video i wanted to look at tiktok fashion trends because we have different types of people of different ages of different races so i wanted to see you know like what are people actually wearing so because i'm not an expert i googled it tiktok fashion trends and there were two websites in particular that i looked at and they had a list of tiktok fashion trends and when you scroll through the list i'm like mm, these things don't necessarily look like trends i basically already had 70 percent of the things in their list in my wardrobe so is that a trend or is it a staple do you know what i mean so in today's video i really wanted to look at these tiktok fashion trends and see if they're trends or just staples that have become trends because people on tiktok are wearing them a lot from what i noticed while i was doing a little bit of research about tiktok fashion trends i was just watching a whole lot of tiktoks actually it doesn't really count as all the girls are either wearing oversized everything super baggy everything and you're just you know doing your thing which is what i think a lot of people are moving towards especially now during the lockdown and then you have your fitted clothing which would usually range you know from leggings to skinny jeans to anything form fitting that doesn't look overdone and then you have the last one where it's a mixture of both so you could wear a fitted crop top and baggy jeans or you could wear a pair of leggings with a more boxy crop top you know or maybe it's not a crop top i don't know the first thing that i see every single person well not, okay not every single person but a lot of people wear super super baggy sweatshirts on their tiktoks and listen if you don't have a, a baggy hoodie or boyfriend size sweatshirt in your wardrobe you probably want one because i mean I don't think this is a trend this is a staple and this color is amazing i got this from the h&m men's section it is the place to shop if you are looking for hoodies or sweatshirts and then we have our sweatpants which sweatpants guys sweatpants have just taken over the business man i i <sighs> it's because of lockdown it's because i'm sorry it's really because of lockdown but a lot of the times you'll see people on tiktok wearing extremely baggy stuff so they'll pair an oversized sweater with an oversized pair of sweatpants and it it just it just works i don't know why it just works but it it works these are a pair of ripped mom jeans from zara mom jeans i don't know if they're still in trend i'm i'm not sure but mom jeans are pretty great but this blue ripped mom jean is something that everyone well it seems like everyone has it or either wants it is it a trend yes is it a staple as well i believe so oversized t-shirts guys they look so good on so many people they don't look very good on me because it makes me look even more of a rectangle than i already am so i don't actually have oversized t-shirts that i'm in love with but i am updating my wardrobe i will get one that fits the way i need it to fit the next thing that is supposedly a trend is high-waisted leggings which i have actually have a pair of high-waisted leggings these are from gymshark these are the seamless high-waisted leggings is this a trend or a staple for me if we're talking athleisure then yes if we're talking normal closet daily things to wear not really i don't i can't i just my my mother will never allow me to walk around in leggings for no reason unless i'm going to exercise them yeah but if i'm not then no so for me it's not a staple in my main wardrobe but if we're talking athleisure then cool if not mm, there's no reason why i need to be walking around in leggings so the next item is a crop top this is just a very basic white crop top you know the normal situation crop top i definitely would say that this is a staple specifically this type of crop top so you know the normal fit normal situation not too cropped kind of you know nice because there's a variety of crop tops that exist i wouldn't say that all of them are staples um a lot of them are definitely add-ons you know some crop tops give you different vibes but if we're talking staples then i do believe everyone needs to have 
a white and a black crop top in their wardrobe somewhere you can pair it with anything this is an honorable mention for racer bag tops these these tops these these tops they also come in the cropped version but racer bag tops guys uh, are they a trend i do believe that they are a trend that should really be a staple for me it's a staple i just i love the style of tops because i don't have you know so we we flex the upper we flex the shoulders the clavicle patricia taught me like this section here i feel like it's one of the prettiest areas on bodies like i female bodies at least there's something so it's like covered up but also shoulder you know i I can't explain it. I'm gonna move on now. <laughs> Moving back to the sweatpants, I have another pair of sweatpants here. These are pink. They don't have the oversized fit, so these fit better. Sweatpants come in different sizes. All of these items really just come in different ways, different colors, different, different everything. You can have a different color and a different, you know, style for a lot of these things. And I think I have the basics. So if you're trying to invest in things, I do believe that these are things you just you just need to have in your wardrobe sometimes the next trend is something that i haven't really been a fan of like i've never actually wanted to buy one of these but it's tie-dye shirts sweatpants tie-dye everything so i attempted to tie-dye a shirt so this is this was actually an oversized white shirt i attempted to tie to tie-dye it i did a diy tie-dye please put a count up how many times i've said to tie-dye in the past 20 seconds. I attempted to tie dye this shirt using onion peels and I honestly just think it looks like it's dirty. I don't really know. But I've seen the latest tie dye stuff looks so beautiful and the colors they use for their tie dyes. You know the pastel tie dye stuff? That, that, that is on brand for me. Like, oh, the colors are just amazing. Like, I wouldn't actually wear tie dye purple pink you know those flashy colors or whatever that we used to see before but now it's being done in such a like way i i oh i need it but yeah no this was a straight fail another trend that i've just hopped onto which i don't actually think is a trend i think it's become a staple it is a graphic tee these graphic tees i i've never really been a fan of graphic tees just because colors words not really my thing especially graphic tees with writing on them oh lord i hate them because some of the writing on those shirts can be so cringy you, you i just actually can't let myself walk around with a shirt that says something weird so yeah i'm only straight away from graphic tees but graphic t-shirts like this with some type of cool drawing on it that i can wear you can even see this shirt has been like it's it's worn out shame the color is it's done it's finished it's actually because it's gray and the color just washed out horribly um and also because i really liked it when i bought it so the last item i have that wasn't even on the list is actually just a pair of jeans these are a pair these are curvy jeans i don't know how many times i've spoken about these jeans eh? i feel like i've been saying curvy jean curvy jean these are a pair of levi's curvy jeans these are just amazing amazing jeans guys amazing jeans you should really hop onto this train because these jeans uh, i don't think i need to tell you that jeans are a staple do i need to tell you that jeans are a staple if you don't have at least three pairs of jeans one blue one black and one other color of your choice you don't have a wardrobe friend oh 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 oh, oh. i actually forgot i actually forgot another trend that i actually it's actually a trend shame it's a trend i won't even lie it's a trend but it's also a staple a pair of white air forces if you throw on a pair of white air forces with any of these things that i've mentioned on this list or any other outfit that you have you're done you're done you have an outfit walk out of the house go you are done funny thing is i still haven't convinced myself to buy them <laughs> so i don't have but you don't need to have the air force the white air force ones literally any pair of white sneakers will do that is just that is an absolute staple i don't care who you are what you say white sneakers are a staple even if you're not a sneaker kind of girl have a pair of white sneakers please when you throw them on it just leave Oof. 
so that is it from me guys i think it's safe to say that at least 70 or 80 percent of the stuff on this tiktok fashion trends list are actually staples um tell me what you think about these trends in the comment section below are they actually trends or are they staples that now seem like trends because people on tiktok are wearing them i let me know what you think about all of this i hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next video also don't forget to subscribe please